Um, so I think what I'll do is show you three things that you can do with string, and everybody should have a piece of string per pair in, uh, amongst you. So if you could just pair up with um, somebody next to you. So this comes from um, a whole group of activities that I think Sean put together, um, including string, elastic bands, popsicle sticks, things that you can carry in your pocket and host with visitors. So my visitor today is going to be Kevin. So come on over, Kevin. And within um, the pair, you can decide that one person can be the visitor, one person can be the host. Okay, so our first demonstration is about proportions. So what you can do is, as a host, you can say, first of all, Kevin, Hi, my name is Magda. Hello, Magda. Hi. Um, do you mind if um, we do a little demonstration with you today? That would be lovely. How do you feel about me me touching your hand? <laughs> it's, I know it's it's something good to ask. Some visitors don't like to be touched, so just remember that you know you're invading someone's personal space. So how do you feel, Kevin? Is that okay? That would be okay. Great. So the first thing I need you to do is wrap this string around the base of your thumb two times, and I'll show you how to do this now. So maybe Kevin, you can hold your hand up and show everybody. Around the base of your thumb two times. Right at the base, not in the middle. Okay, take that measurement and show the visitor that that is the same measurement as their wrist. Yeah, so now wrap it around their wrist. And for most people, this should be about the same size as their wrist. You get it, right? Okay. Here. It's hard to do the microphone. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay. Once you've got that, it's hard for me to do with the mic in my hand. You can then wrap the string again or twice around the visitor's wrist and get that measurement. Maybe starting at the end of the string is helpful. Twice, two times around the wrist, there. and then show them that that should be the same measurement as once around their neck. And I always warn the visitor, I'm not going to pull tight, don't worry, this is all in safety. Did it work? Did it work for most people? Okay, it's usually about a centimeter off or so. The next measurement is, and this one's the trickiest of all. <laughs> this one's the trickiest of all and also the most sensitive. It doesn't work, um, it only works in about half cases in my experience. Twice around the neck should, well, in most, in about half of cases, be the same size as their natural waist, which is higher than most people think it is, right? <laughs> Another neat thing that you can tell visitors is that's a good way to measure if they are proportional, their neck to their waist. It's a good way to, you know, buy a pair of pants without having to try them on. Is just to fold them in half and try them out around your neck. Okay. So Rochelle just, Rochelle just pointed out another good one to do is to get people just to take that piece of string that you're holding and ask the visitor to estimate the size of their waist by making a circle on the ground. So you can do that right now with your visitor. So get them to estimate their waist as a circle on the ground with that piece of string. And once they have that estimate, <laughs> Once they have that estimate, get them to actually try it around their waist. You know, make a mark. If one of you can hold what the estimate was, the other person can actually try it out. Usually, it tends to be quite a bit smaller than what people thought, right? Can you try it out? Look at Who, who estimated their waist was too bigger than they than it actually? 
actually was. Hands up. Yeah, like a lot of people, right? Okay, so let's show you something else that you can do now. This one is about sound. So this time, I'm going to ask Kevin as my visitor to wrap this string twice around his index finger, pretty tight. So it'll look like this. I'm gonna do that. And you might have to pinch it with your thumb to keep it in place, or the visitor will have to pinch it with their thumb. Then what you're gonna do is stick that finger right in their ear. <laughs> Okay, the next step is for you as the host to pull that string and keep it pretty tight. Oh, don't unwind the string. There we go, perfect. And you can now have a guitar and play different sounds on the string, changing, um, changing the pitch by changing the length of the string, right? So if you hold it tighter, thank you Kevin. Hold it closer, it will be a higher sound and further away. It tends to be a lower sound. Is it working? It's pretty neat, eh? <laughs> Another one with the same setup, so not changing anything, is you can actually speak to the visitor along this string just like you know we used to make uh, paper paper cup uh, telephones so if you bring the string right up to your uh, right up to your throat right where you can feel it vibrate when you speak then and if you kind of look the other way you can send secret messages so I always get one visitor to tell me a message that I'm going to pass on to another visitor and see if they can actually hear it so I'll, I'll demonstrate this for you um, maybe Rochelle do you want to give me a message to pass on to Kevin <laughs> okay, I've got a message, so I'm going to try to pass it on to Kevin here. <laughs> Kevin, did you get what the message was? I, I did get, a, get what the message was. Uh, Rochelle says, please sign up to be an MBA. I couldn't think it. <laughs> so I think you should all just try that right now. It takes a little bit, of, it's a little bit finicky finding the right spot. What I usually do is get, get the person to speak a bit and find that part of their throat that vibrates and that's exactly where you want to pull it up. And you've got to pull the string pretty tight. So why don't you all try that now? You want to try it? It's pretty neat, isn't it? Just one more tip. Um, what I like to do with this, and I'm sure all the hosts will have their own tips for you, but what I really like to do is, you know, if we have a family coming in, a family of four or five people, you can, you know, choose one, one visitor, host it with them, and then get them to host it with their families, right? So say, okay, well now you can do that on your, why don't you see if your parents can hear you, or you can see if your brother or sister can hear you, that kind of thing. There's tons more pocket science, um, we just don't have the time for it, so just, you know, come and ask any of the hosts, we're all help. We all have different uh, pocket science, and we'll all be happy to share any of it with you, so. Hopefully you can use that in the coming weeks. Take a little more than that one piece. Don't be surprised if people will ask you ask you for that piece of string. It has become their science string. Okay? They don't want any old string, they want your string, and that particular string is their magic connection to you. So feel free to give them that string, they walk around with it. It actually becomes quite a big memento of the visit at the science center. An everyday object that you can find at home, not expensive, and connect them to the world of science and each other. So have a few more pieces of string and feel free to give it away. That's their gift and your gift to them. Thanks.